Not even kidding, I just got my hair blown out a few days ago and this is exactly what it looked like. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. So today I figured I would do a little hair tutorial because I'm always getting questions about how I do certain styles and just like all questions about my hair. Last week I did a video answering all your questions about my hair cut, my hair color, my favorite products for my hair, how I maintain a healthy blonde head of hair. So if you want to know answers to all of those questions, I will link that video right here i literally answered everything but for those of you who don't know i just recently cut my hair and i got layers this time usually layers are meant to be styled not that they don't look good when they're not styled but typically they just look way better when your hair is styled so i've been getting a lot of questions about how i style my layers and how i do an at-home blowout like you get in the salon so as somebody who's been getting a lot of blowouts at the salon i feel like i've picked up on a few little techniques and i've kind of mastered an at-home version version of a blowout salon so I figured I would do a little tutorial for you guys. I did do a similar tutorial to this a few months back and I'll link it right here as well. It was like one of my first times trying it out but that was when I didn't really have layers in my hair and like I said it was my first time so I wasn't like a professional. I didn't really know what I was doing. It was kind of just like a fun video attempting that hairstyle so I'm doing this video so that it's a little updated and I could like better give you guys a full tutorial like step by step of what to do so that's what this video is going to be. I feel like I've been talking to much so let's just hop right into the video because I need to do something with this hair. The first thing I do is section my hair. So obviously I'm going to start with the longest layer so I'm going to want to tie back all of the shorter layers and just have that bottom layer. I also want to mention that I washed my hair last night so this is clean hair. I let it air dry and so now it's kind of like fully dry. The back is still a little damp. I found that it doesn't really matter whether my hair is like dry or a little bit wet. Alrighty so we got my hair all sectioned off. So for the bottom layer, I really don't go crazy. I usually just use the Revlon heat brush. This product is super popular on TikTok everywhere. A bunch of different brands also make the exact same thing. So if you guys want to try it out, I would suggest the Revlon one because I feel like it's the cheapest and this is the one that most people start off with. So yeah, I'm just going to plug this in. I also don't really have any product in my hair besides my leave-in conditioner that I use when I get out of the shower. This is kind of like a heat protectant and just styling cream, like all in one. If you want to get this along with all the other products that I use on my hair, it is linked in my Amazon list in my description box. So go ahead there if you want to know any products that I use because I have it all linked there for you guys. So yeah, before I turn it on, I'm just going to explain really quickly what I usually do. So basically I get a section that is about this big. First, I focus on the roots and midway into my hair so that I can make sure this part is like sleek and smooth and straight. And I mainly focus on going underneath, kind of going upwards. I don't usually go down because you know, you want that volume so when you're brushing it out you want to go upwards and just really focus on the roots and this upper area of your hair first to make sure it's fully dry then I will start brushing it out and rolling under and just really like rolling like this while the brush is on so I usually just do that for the entire bottom section and some sections I'll do the curl going this way I kind of just alternate because I feel like they just all look really good when it's just alternating which way that they're flipping so I'm gonna turn this on and show you guys exactly what I mean it'll probably be way easier easier when you see it actually happening and I feel like you'll just catch on way better so let's do that so again I'm just really focusing on the roots and making sure I'm going upwards and then it's all nice and dry before going on and curling a little bit at the end Okay, so as you can see, I have the little curl going at the bottom. Most of the hair is straight and I feel like the roots kind of have a little bit of volume. So that's normally all I do for the bottom layer. Just a little cute little flip and that's it. I don't really put that much heat on it. Don't really go crazy doing a nice big curl. So I'm just gonna quickly do the other side and then we will go on to the next layer. Ooh, you 
have the bottom layer nice and sleek and flippy perfect exactly what we want now we're going to take down the second layer oh my god this is literally what i would look like with like really short hair what do you guys think i don't know if i'd ever go that short just because i'm so attached to my hair i would probably have an identity crisis if i ever did that so now this is where a kind of important part comes into play that i noticed my hairdresser doing and i started doing it at home but for these next layers this is how i section my hair so i first take the front pieces kind of like just like these hairs you know and now these are more towards the back so what i do is i kind of just picture my head and i picture a straight line going here <laughs> horizontally down my head and so now all of this hair is going to go backwards so this front hair is going to be fine in the front and then we're going to also section the back hairs to go towards the back almost to create like a little crown like going backwards if that makes any sense i feel like you will understand more when i'm like actually showing it so now for these pieces we're going to be doing something very similar to the first layer basically exactly the same way if you want to do this completely just with this brush you can i just feel like i don't really like putting that much heat on my hair so i don't really like sitting there and like really trying to get a nice curl that will stay with this so that's why i utilize rollers there's very cheap rollers on amazon i will have the exact ones that i have linked in my amazon link down below if you guys want to get them they were very cheap so i'm gonna do the exact same thing that i did get my hair a little heated up get the you know shape that i want and then i'm going to pop in a roller and clip them in and then just leave them for a little bit so that that curl will like stay longer and it'll look really really nice so that's what we're gonna do let me pull out my rollers these are the rollers i have they look like this it came in a big set and there's three sizes so this is the biggest size smaller size and then there's these little tiny sizes that i don't really use these i mainly just use these two i take that back now i'm thinking since my hair is shorter i should actually try to utilize these because maybe it will make a difference because the longer your hair usually the bigger you need the roller to be but since my hair is a little shorter i might use these for my bangs so hold on to these but for now i'm just going to be using the pink and the purple ones. so basically for these medium sized hairs i think i'm going to be using the pink ones so first we're going to start off with this warm it up a little bit get the general idea and then pop these in so let's just let's just do that i'm going to section these into two little sections let's just begin Okay, now that the hair is all heated up, I'm going to take this roller. We're going to glide it down so that all the hairs get nice and secured on it. And then we're just going to start rolling upwards to the root of the hair. Like so. And then I can't find any of my little clips that I usually secure it with. So we're just going to use some bobby pins. They both work pretty well. Okay. I just want to preface also that I'm really not good at like doing hair and stuff. So a lot of the hairstyles I do are not perfect at all. So as you can see, it might look a little bit messy, but in the past, it's always just worked out. Even if it does look a little messy, so don't worry, it'll still come out good. It's very much practice makes perfect. So the more you do it, you're going to get the hang of it better. You'll see what little things you can do differently that'll make it better. You know what I mean? So just try it out and play around with it and just practice. And I promise you'll get good at it. You can put the curlers in whichever direction you want. These are just the direction that I typically like to put them in. Going upwards and then I just secure them. So now this side is done. Now I'm just going to repeat this step on this side really quickly and then we will work on the back. Okay. So now we are all secured on both sides with two little rollers. Now we're going to work on the back. So this is probably the hardest part because obviously it's hard to do it yourself when you can't really see that well and you have to like kind of just pretend like you're back there and you're like a hairdresser. So all of this hair, you're gonna wanna really just go upwards with it so that you have that nice little poof and that nice little volume back there. So when you're blowing it out, all you do is just really just blow it out upwards. You don't ever really wanna go downwards, you wanna go upwards. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Just try your best to really get that volume because I feel like that is what looks the best. And then we will try to put some nice big rollers back there for volume as well. So I feel like it'll be easier if I just show you guys exactly what I do and I'll turn to the side a little so you can see better. And let's just begin. <laughs> So 
now that the hair is kind of heated up a little and now this time i will do the roller going the opposite direction so i'll go from underneath as you can see tuck it under the hair and just really roll it's probably going to be messy if you use a bigger section it's going to secure this the best of my ability that's what that one looks like now i'm just going to do it's like the same thing just on the other side Now, this is what we're working with. We got all the hairs rolled up and now we just have the very top, very small layers. So let's take this out. Okay, so now for this layer, again, we're going to just take out our bangs because that's gonna be its own little section. I'm just gonna put it basically into its own big section. This may like seem kind of hard and like time consuming, but trust me, like as you're doing it, it actually goes really, really fast and it really helps to maintain the blowout. Like I feel like a lot of people have the issue of, you know, when they're trying to do an at-home blowout, it just doesn't last long. So I feel like doing the rollers really helps to keep that blowout all day, you know? So I think that it's worth it in my opinion. So now that we have these bangs, we're going to kind of combine them and now we're going to roll them out this way in front of us and then we're going to pop all of them into one roller going this way. Now this is what we're looking like. We have all the rollers in. As you can see, it's not going to be perfect everywhere, but I promise it's okay. We could tweak it a little bit once we take them out and I feel like as long as you got a nice curl going it'll be okay so usually i'll just leave these in for as long as i possibly can you know try to give yourself a good amount of time to leave them in not like right before you're about to go out throw them in you know so i usually just leave them in for at least like 15 to 20 minutes and just like you know chill do everything else that you need to do and then take them out so yeah all right guys so it has been like 20 to 30 minutes and i'm about to take them out just to show you guys um a little quick tip if you guys are in a rush and you want to really ensure that the rollers you know did something you could easily just go over with like a normal hair dryer like this and just go over them a little bit and warm them up again so yeah now literally all that's left to do is just take them out and see what they look like so usually i start with the back ones i don't know why i just usually do and i will just take out the bobby pins that i put in there try to unravel it a little bit but then then once you get kind of it all out you just pull it out like that and roll and then we got a nice little flip on those this one and we got a nice flip okay now let's go on the other side do the same thing okay so far really really good we got these nice flips going and now we have to take out these really tiny ones which should be really really good at the top so nice and so cute i literally love these big flips and they're gonna go down a little bit so it's gonna be really really nice and the last big reveal the bangs whoa perfect like literally this is literally exactly how we want it to be bangs look literally awesome look how well they flipped up i'm literally in love like i'm not even kidding i just got my hair blown out a few days ago and this is exactly what it looked like and i just recreated it at home literally within like 20 minutes this was so quick obviously you have to wait for the rollers to settle in a little bit so that it adds more time but the actual process of sitting there and doing your hair is like so quick and it looks so good you add a little bit of spray to it you know you can like play around with it and you got a nice little flippy blow out that you did by yourself you know you got some volume and i'm just so in love with the results like i love this haircut that i recently got if you want to know what i asked for what it's called all that stuff i talked about it in depth in my last video that i will link that i was talking about earlier i just can't get over this haircut i just love it it just makes me feel so cute and girly and i have been doing this hairstyle so much and voila there you have it this is exactly how i do an at-home blowout we got really nice flippy ends and the bang look awesome i'm like so happy with how this came out um i wish that it was like brighter outside so you guys can see better but let's go in this mirror maybe you can see better so here's the hair <laughs> Thank you.
so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i think this hairstyle is super cute and once you get the hang of it i promise it gets way easier so don't get intimidated go try it out i will link literally all the products that i used in today's video including the rollers the clips um the hairspray that i use all in my amazon link down below so you guys can go get the exact stuff that i used um i'll try to link the exact revlon hair dryer also if you like this video and this tutorial was helpful to you in any way please give it a big thumbs up follow me on instagram and tiktok because i'm way more active on those platforms and yeah so thank you so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next one bye